All right, the last thing I want to talk about is Apache Spark. It's kind of the new kid on the block with big data analysis, but it's definitely growing in popularity. A lot of the uh, big Silicon Valley web companies are starting to use it. And let's see what all the hullabaloo is, is about. What is Apache Spark? Why is it important? Finally, I want to touch on Apache Spark, which is the new kid on the block, relatively speaking, on Hadoop technologies. Uh, but it is what the cool kids are using these days in Silicon Valley, so you definitely want to know about it. Um, it is it is not an abstraction on top of MapReduce, rather it is an alternative to MapReduce, but it can still run on Hadoop under the hood. So again, a lot of people get confused by that, but you need to remember that MapReduce is an application that is run on top of Hadoop, and like MapReduce, Spark is another application you can run on top of Hadoop. So Spark is not a replacement for Hadoop, it is an alternative to MapReduce that still uses Hadoop under the hood. And it's used by, you know, uh, Yelp, The Washington Post, Yahoo is also using it now as well. Reportedly Twitter, another big web company. So it's kind of the, the hot thing in Silicon Valley these days. Uh, some nice things are that it includes built-in libraries for machine learning and graphing, uh, which makes life a little bit easier for those, for those fields. The big thing about Spark is that it claims to be significantly faster than MapReduce, so up to 100 times faster or 10 times faster on disk. Now, obviously your mileage may vary. They, those benchmarks are taken on very fabricated examples that take advantage of Spark's strengths. Um, I don't want to get into the details, but it has this what they call a DAG engine under the hood that speeds things up in, in, spe in specific situations. Also, it can be used with a variety of programming languages. Mostly it's used with Scala, which is basically another a java-like language that runs on the java framework if you will there are also extensions for using spark with python and also the r programming language which is used for statistical programming very popular with the data science crowd um, also it offers spark sql so if you're comfortable with sql already like hive it offers an easy way to offer it to, to execute queries across a distributed database on a hadoop cluster and it interoperates interoperates with hdfs and a bunch of other popular key value data store technologies like Cassandra, S3HB, MongoDB, and Sequoia DB. So if your data happens to be distributed in a distributed key value data store like one of these, Spark can access it directly. And it can also be run with Elastic MapReduce. So again, Elastic MapReduce is really just a Hadoop cluster in the cloud. You don't have to run MapReduce on it. You can also run Spark on it as well. And uh, Amazon's website has some tutorials on doing that. So what the cool kids are using, like I said, uh, mostly due to its speed, and it also uses Scala, which is kind of a hot language these days. Why not use Spark? Well, it's still relatively new. You're going to find a more evolved ecosystem surrounding MapReduce in its world because it's been around longer. Um, and it's going to take a little bit more effort to get, start, to get started with Spark because it is a new language. There's going to be fewer resources out there for you to learn how to use it, fewer, fewer examples to go by, and fewer people to lean on. So again, think of it as a, as a Hive replacement more so than a MapReduce replacement. Uh, Well-crafted MapReduce code can still be very efficient if you're writing mappers and reducers by hand. You know, you have a lot of control over what's going on under the hood there. But again, if you're familiar with SQL and you want to just treat your Hadoop cluster as a giant data warehouse, Hive or Spark can do that for you. Spark probably more efficiently. Um, and finally, you know, Spark might solve a problem you don't have. If MapReduce meets your needs, why not stick with it? But that's Spark, I wanna make sure you know about it. And that is a general overview of some of the technologies that you can run using Hadoop and how to distribute big data analysis problems across a cluster. So that's Apache Spark, a very hot technology in Silicon Valley these days. So important that you understand it from a high level and understand some of its strengths and weaknesses so you can choose the right tool for the job.